Okay, in this video, we're going to run down the specs on the Asus EPad Transformer Prime. Now, the first thing to note about this device is that it's the thinnest tablet on the market today. The Apple iPad 2 is 8.8 .8 millimeters in thickness. Then the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 came around and was 8.6 millimeters in thickness. So it was actually two millimeters thinner than the Apple iPad 2. Well now the Asus EPad Transformer is here and this device is actually 8.3 millimeters in thickness. So it's 0.5 millimeters thinner, so half a millimeter thinner than the Apple iPad 2 and 0.3 millimeters thinner than the Samsung Galaxy Tab. And it's actually lighter than the Apple iPad 2. This device here, the Asus EPad Transformer Prime, is 586 grams, whereas the Apple iPad 2 weighs in at anywhere from 600 grams to 610 grams. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is actually lighter than this device, but that's because the casing is made out of plastic. The Samsung Galaxy Tab is 565 grams. Now, like the Apple iPad 2, this case is made out of aluminum. And this happens to be the gray version. There's actually a champagne version as well. And as you'll notice here, as the light reflects off of the back of this device here, there is a swirl pattern on the metal here. Now on the center of the device here, you have your Asus branding. On the top here, you have an eight megapixel camera with an LED flash. Also up here, you have a microphone. And over here, you have your power button on top of the device. That's pretty much it on the top. On the left of the device over here, you have your volume rocker. You also have your micro HDMI port. And you have an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, that is. And here's the blank that you can pull out of the side here. Also on the side here, you have another microphone down here. On the bottom of the device, you have your dock connector here. And you have these two rubberized areas here. Now these pieces of rubber will come out if you have the dock connector for the bottom, the keyboard dock connector, so that the latches will actually latch into the device there. On the right side of the device, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on the front here, you have Gorilla Glass on the device, which is nice to know because that gives you added protection. Also on the front, you have your Asus branding and your front facing camera. Now the front facing camera on this device is a 1.2 megapixel camera. I like the size of the bezel on this. I had the Motorola Zoom prior to this, and I found that the bezel was a little bit thin. I like the thicker size bezel on this. Plus, it gives you a little bit more keyboard room if you do get the keyboard dock connector. I have explained in previous videos that I did order the keyboard dock connector, but it is on back order, so I will do a video on that when I actually get it. So for right now, we're just gonna focus on the tablet device itself. Now the screen is a super IPS LCD capacitive touch screen and it actually has a viewing angle of 178 degrees. So if you move it to the side, you can still see a lot of what's on the screen. And they say up to 178 degrees. As with most Android tablets, you have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and that's to accommodate your menu down here, your menu bar. Widescreen content is 16 by 9. The resolution on the device is 1280 by 800. It has a 10.1 inch screen, like a lot of Android tablets out there, and the pixels per inch is 149. Now on the back of the device here, you have your speaker. You can actually see there's some pinholes in the aluminum itself, and that's your speaker. Now this particular tablet has 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but with the micro SD card slot, you can actually upgrade that to 32 gigabytes on top of the 32 that's on the device. So you can get a grand total of 64 gigabytes on this device. You can actually buy a version of this tablet with 64 gigabytes of internal storage, and then you can add 32 gigabytes on top of that. The tablet has one gigabyte of RAM on it, and its wireless connectivity is 802.11 B, G, and N. It offers Bluetooth with A2DP and USB 2.0 connectivity 
when you use the dock connector down below here. Now you can actually do 1080p video recording with this 8 megapixel camera on the rear of the device here. And the camera has autofocus and of course, like I mentioned, the LED flash. Also the device offers geotagging. Right now this tablet is running Android Honeycomb, which is Android 3.0, but it is upgradable to Android Ice Cream Sandwich and that should be coming in January of 2011. Now one of the big deals about this device other than the thinness of it and the keyboard connector is that it is the first ever quad core tablet. It actually runs NVIDIA Tegra 3 and it is a quad core 1.3 gigahertz Cortex A9 device. So that's pretty fast. They say that it is actually a desktop quality processor or a desktop class processor. At least that's what NVIDIA says. The GPU on it is a ULP GeForce GPU. And like I said, it is a quad core tablet, but it actually has five cores in it. Four cores are rated at 1.3 gigahertz a piece. And then you have a lower clocked core to take care of mundane tasks on the tablet. It's actually called a companion core. Now the companion core actually runs at 500 megahertz and NVIDIA has referred to it as the Ninja Core. Basically, it will take care of the mundane tasks of this tablet so you can save on battery power. So you're not running your high performance cores to do mundane things on this device. Now supposedly Tegra 3, which is the chip that this device runs off of, has five times the performance of Tegra 2. Now Tegra 2 is in my Motorola Atrix 4G phone and it's also in the Motorola Zoom tablet. The Asus ePad Transformer is equipped with an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a compass. And there's also a GPS receiver in the device. Now as I mentioned, this is the 32 gigabyte version. It also comes in a 64 gigabyte version. The 32 gigabyte version for the tablet alone costs $499.99. The keyboard dock attachment costs $149.99. The 64 gig version is $599. So if you compare this in price to the Apple iPad 2, you're actually getting more storage for the price. So the lowest version of the Apple iPad 2 is a 16 gigabyte version and that will cost you $499. Whereas the 32 gigabyte version of this tablet will cost you $499. The same price as the 16 gigabyte Apple iPad 2. And you're getting a quad core processor on this device whereas you get a dual core processor on the Apple iPad 2. The 32 gigabyte version of the Apple iPad 2 costs $599 which is the same price as the 64 gigabyte version of the Asus ePad Transformer Prime. If you wanna know more about this tablet, click on the link at the end of this video, and I have a whole host of other videos posted on this tablet. And hopefully soon I'll have the keyboard dock connector, and I'll make a video on that as soon as I get it. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, and I'll see you next time.